I really thought I saw him go in here, though. Well, let's keep looking. I'm the one who grabbed you. It was pretty rude of me to... I'm so sorry! Those girls were chasing me, and then I panicked, and... I'm not sure. I'm supposed to be filming a commercial, but one of the crew members posted a photo of the studio online. A bunch of them figured out we were here, and I guess they wanted to see the shoots. And then it looked like they wanted to talk to me, so I kind of ran away. I'm usually not this bad, they just caught me by surprise. I didn't think anyone would want to talk to me. How can you tell? Oh, I see. You're really smart. next door. Just take the main hallway out. It's the building right in front of you. Oh, um, Matthew. <laughs> Thanks. No way! Are you Adam Eaton? Sure am. I am such a big fan. You know, I was following you on Spacebook long before you released Late Sleeper. <laughs> cool! I'm glad you like my stuff. I don't want to be too annoying or anything, but if I could get an autograph, that would totally make my life. Hey, could I get an autograph too? Studio. Uh. Sean, right. Sorry again about all that, you know. Yeah, I'm just, uh, hiding. Crying.
No! Thanks. It's from the summer campaign. I didn't think it would still be up. It doesn't make any sense! How can you advertise clothing if the model isn't even wearing any? No, but I'm not. No, I like it. I, I mean, I, I do enjoy the work. It's just everything else. I like having to see this every time I come to the mall. And then people recognize me and everyone talks to me. Keep looking at me. You do? Mom always said it was my biggest flaw. Still wish I could get rid of it. Uh -huh. Well, you're different. You're not asking me for anything. Uh... Maddie! There you are! for you. And who's this? Well, my name's Nicole. If you're talking to Maddie, I'm sure you recognize me too. But I'm the golden princess. When we met on set, it was love at first sight. He was my prince in the photo shoot, and now he's my prince in real life too. Come on, honey, let's get going. Bye. Everything. Now, put on a good smile. Dale, who is this? Madeline, this is Sean Gooden. She'll be the makeup artist for today. How old are you? Where did you train? What are your credits? Dale?
her work speaks for itself. I don't want some child who learned how to put on makeup from her mommy. This isn't prom night. Two films. That new show they're talking about casting soon? Oh, sweetie, why didn't you say so? It's a delight to meet you. Matthew! Yes, mother. This is your new makeup artist, Sean Gooden. She works with Lloyd Newton. Isn't that exciting? Come greet her. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Gooden. I look forward to working with you. All right, now that introductions are out of the way, let's get to work. Let's look over the plans for today's shoot, shall we? I'm sure Sean can handle her side of the job. I'm in your capable hands. You mean Nicole? Nicole rarely finds interest in these photo shoots. They're tedious for someone not involved. She can be. Thank you for your excellent work. Take five. I love your work, honey. You're very talented for someone your age. No wonder Lloyd chose you to work on his show. That's very exciting, isn't it? I heard they don't have a full cast for the show yet. Did Lloyd mention who was handling the casting? Well, next time you see him, you might mention that Matthew is undergoing acting training. Oh, you are so sweet. No, I can handle this. You 
must think I'm a terrible person. Well, when I'm in work mode, I get really focused, you know? Oh, right. Sorry. I didn't do anything offensive, did I? Oh, Mom doesn't like it when I meet new people, especially girls. She thinks they'll only try to use me, so I kinda didn't tell her about you. Nicole's an exception. What? No! She wanted you to introduce me to a director, didn't she? That's okay. I like modeling, but I've never been that interested in acting. You felt guilty? That's nice of you. You're really nice. Oh, thanks. Matthew, we're leaving now. I have to go! You too! Ah, congratulations. You survived. Madeline was a professional model for many years. She insists her children follow that path. And while I appreciate that she wants them to succeed, her stunning lack of trust in my skills is grating. Hey, if it gets her to like you, then it gets her to like you. It's not easy to impress Miss Midnight herself. Madeline Midnight original face of the Midnight Cosmetics line? You and every other professional in this city. Anyway, good work today. Hope you don't mind if I call on you for future assignments. Then I'll be seeing you around. Take care, Sean. Ready for another round with the Midnight Clan? I didn't mean to worry you. Will it make you feel better if I tell you that's not their real name? <clears throat> Partridge. Madeline Partridge. And her son? Matthew Partridge. But don't say it to their faces. And nothing a little bit of time online can't tell you. But stage names exist for a reason. Whether it's to build a character, afford privacy, or just not conflict with someone else, it's always important. So, calling someone by their given name in a professional setting is rude. Good morning, Mr. Vincent. I trust everything is ready? Ready as will ever be, Nicole. Sean, what are you doing here? Oh, I didn't know you were industry. That's not a problem, is it? Of course not. I'm just surprised. Maddie, all clear. Search me. They've always been like this. Ready when you are. So, Sean, how long have you been a makeup artist?
tell, your work is very polished. So, are you new in town? <laughs> I haven't seen you around before. Where are you from? Oh, that sounds amazing! It must be gorgeous back there. Born and raised. I've done a couple of photo shoots elsewhere, but no place as nice as Hawaii. Unlike Maddie, who's already been there twice. Well, that's the hope, but it sure seems like I don't have much more than hope. That guy you were with at the mall? He looked pretty cool. We're finished. Oh, uh, right. Well, let's be on our way. you to some of the others. Hey, the entire point of industry parties is to meet new people. Think of it as making work connections. Pretty cool, huh? Dale's taking photos for the site. I should probably get mine done soon. Wanna come with me? Nicole, are you ready for your shoot? I'm always ready. Good evening, Miss Gooden. I'm not sure I like being associated with serial killers, but Nicole said it would look good on me. You are very kind to say so. And what is your costume choice? Then we match! In a way. Midnight, you're here for your photo shoot? Yes, of course. Good in. Are you dressed as that vampire slayer from that one TV show? Hop in. My job is to photograph everyone at this party, not just models. It'll save time if you both go. Just do it! Sean, you look like you're trying to hide as much of yourself as possible. Uncross your arms. Hey, are you okay?
Uh, Sean, I'm going to ask Matthew to hold you. Is that okay? It's okay. I get scared too. Do your best to breathe. You're just... Um, this is embarrassing. No, no, I mean, you feel really soft. I mean, you feel nice. Um, that is... Okay, kids, that's enough flirting. That's not how everyone else is going to see it. Any longer and you'll gather a sizable audience. All right, next. The moment looked too good to pass up on. It's like a forbidden love. If you don't want me to, I won't. But you'll have to pose for another one. Would you like to exchange phone numbers? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to impose or anything. I mean, if it's not too intrusive, it's just I thought it might be nice to exchange ideas or talk. Really? Oh, good. I'm glad you said yes. I, I practiced asking you just to make sure I didn't mess up. If you ever need someone, I can help you. Practice talking, I mean. tutor. I used to go to school, but mother took me out after work started conflicting with it. You too. Good to see you, Sean. Miss Gooden, I'm here to discuss the shoot with you. We're advertising a new winter-themed fragrance. If you could come up with something kind of fancy and different, we'd appreciate it. He means elegant and set apart. Matthew's waiting for you in the back. Sean, I hoped it would be you. I trust you'll come up with something that matches.
Hm? Was there ever doubt? Me too. Painters. Although I've always wanted to try it myself. I haven't really had the chance to. Are you finished? Yes. Then get going. Yes, sorry for the wait. Thank you for your work today. For me? I don't mind, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't bring you anything. Thank you. This is a very thoughtful gift. I hope to see you again. I'm always happy to work with you. Matthew, it's time to go. Oh. Mother, please ask her. Matthew, we discussed this. And I did as you asked. Very well. Honey, I have a job for you. Midnight Cosmetics needs a full-time makeup artist. For reasons beyond my comprehension, Matthew insists that it be you. You'll be working closely with our official models to produce commercials and product based on designs from the marketing team. Work begins next month. I'll send your contract shortly. Right, you're going to tell me that you need time to think about it. High wages, excellent publicity, and job security. I'll send your contract shortly. That was unexpected. No, I meant the job offer was unexpected. I've never seen Madeline interested in a newcomer like you. Which is also surprising. I've never seen him stand up for himself, much less anyone else. It might not be my place to say, but I think you should accept the job. Is that why you didn't say yes? Madeline is not easily swayed. At the start, people complained that Matthew only got work because of her influence. But she made him work hard and earn everything he's got. There's no way she'd go easy on you. Her misgivings may lie elsewhere, like your age or even how Matthew behaves around you. But she can put professionalism ahead of her feelings. And speaking from a strictly self-serving point of view, I'd be very relieved to be working with you. So... See you Monday? Great. Ms. Gooden. I'm here to discuss details of your new employment. Initial each page and sign at the bottom. You never said you wouldn't, unless that's what you're telling me now. I know. Now, initial and sign. Not a bad start. Why wouldn't it? A 
This isn't a trick. I don't play games, Miss Gooden. Everyone at Midnight Cosmetics is treated with utmost regard. I didn't build an international company on trickery, petty grudges, and personal problems. Can I expect the same respect and professionalism from you? That's what I like to hear. I won't waste any more time then. Leave your contract with Dale once you're done. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Madeline's a tough woman, but she doesn't let her emotions get in the way of a job well done. Yeah, she's not easy to get along with, but the work always turns out good. All right then, looks like we've got you every Tuesday until you're out of school. Then you'll be with us every day. See you soon. Sean, um... Nothing's wrong, I just... Um... I was wondering if I could take you out to eat today. What's your favorite place to eat? No, it's fine. I want to go where you like. See you there. See? That wasn't so hard. You're not really going dressed like that, are you? Thank you for letting me do this. Um, I'm not sure. What are you planning to get? Then please order the same for me. Sean, this is really good. Just right. I guess I can't really handle it with as much spice as yours. Then I want to try it with you next time. Of course. I'd really like to go out with you more. This is fun, and you're nice. Um, Nicole says it's your birthday. Something about a form you filled out for payment? She's good at things like that when she wants to be. I'm sorry, was that supposed to be private? Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. If it's okay with you, I'd like to take you out somewhere for your birthday. Wait, I'm picking? Uh, oh, right, um, are you okay with the art museum? Then I'll send the car to get you. Sean, happy birthday! I'm glad you like it. Where would you like to go first? Of course. This piece is my personal favorite. Whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed, I like to come here and look at it, and I feel better. In a way, it reminds me of you. A lot of people miss this one. 
It's not as fancy as other paintings in this gallery. But when you look at it, the brush strokes are excellent and the colors are subtle and thoughtful. I think it's the most beautiful painting here. I hope it's okay to say that. Of course! I do! Morning, Sean! I heard you're officially with Midnight Cosmetics now! I can't wait to work with you! It's going to be so much fun! And now, I'll have your help making sure my brother doesn't get out of hand! Uh, yeah? Didn't you know? Ooh, you make it sound so kinky. Nicole! I'm kidding! Relax! We're not dating. It's just something I say to get people to stop bothering him. Sorry. Honestly, I totally forgot. Oh, how about... I never guessed you two were related. Nicole's just so much better looking than Matt. Uh, hey! Oh, Sean. <laughs> you know as well as we do, all models look the same. And if they don't, they certainly do once the makeup and photo editing is over. My own mother has barely noticed she's got a second child. <laughs> like anyone else is gonna catch on. Oh, I know. I'm not upset with you. I'm just being upset in your general direction. Anyway, you keep an eye on this pretty boy, okay? I can't keep him out of trouble all the time. You too. You'll be standing in the rain? But it's so cold out, what if you get sick? I feel bad if you got sick. Oh, that's my ride! Why don't you come home with me? You can stay until the rain lets up. Please. She's an industry guest. Thank you for the ride. Come inside. You're my guest. I want to treat you well. Rain. I see. I don't know.
When I was a kid, I loved the rain. It was beautiful, and it made everything look so alive. Every time it rained, I'd go outside to play. I felt like I was coming to life along with everything else. Then one day I got sick. I came down with pneumonia right before an important shoot. Mom had to cancel, and the job went to someone else. I thought Mother would yell at me, but she didn't. In fact, she didn't say anything. I think that was even worse. All those days I was in bed, she hardly even spoke to me. Nicole wasn't allowed to see me in case she got sick too. For days on end, it was just me, with nothing but the sound of the rain. And now, I don't know if I like the rain anymore. Because I didn't want to leave you out in the rain, that would have been rude. I didn't want to be alone. This house is so big, and I'm the only one in it, I feel like it's going to swallow me up. And every time it rains, I just... Please, stay with me. Thank you. It's really beautiful. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything. You really didn't mind? I'm happy too. I always feel safer when you're around. You have to get back now. I'll call a ride for you. Um, you're welcome to come visit anytime you want. Yes. I mean, I'd really like it if you did. Just call me anytime you want and I'll send a car to pick you up. Mother's fine with you. Um, probably. I'll see you again. We've got business partners coming today. Already? I am certain Sean will do well today. I'd like you to meet some of our team members. It's a pleasure. I look forward to working with you. This is our lead makeup artist, Sean Gooden. She'll be handling your questions for today. Yes, Sean has an excellent knowledge of the younger consumer base. You'll be in good hands with Midnight Cosmetics for your next campaign. 
Would you like to discuss the details of it in a more comfortable situation? Not too bad. They really liked you. I think you did well. He's right. That's some charm you've got there. I knew you could do it. I can't do this forever, right? Modeling. Mother was a model for a long time, but she eventually started her own company. A job like this isn't really sustainable, is it? Um, it's just, you seem to be doing really well with Midnight Cosmetics. I'm sure that you'll be with the company for a long time. But if I stay a model, it won't be the same for me. It makes me sad to think we might not be working together in the future. I'm sorry, is that weird? I've never thought about it before. I guess you really changed me. I wish I knew what to do. Oh, that's my ride. Thank you for the advice. I'll see you next time. Ms. Gooden, may I have a word? My son recently spoke to me about taking a more active position in the company. He says you encouraged him to do it. I don't think you understand the situation you've placed me in. Mother, what are you doing? This is a private conversation. It's not Sean's fault. No, then why the sudden change in your career path? It's not sudden, I just... I have to think about the future. Which is why I told you to get into acting. You'll have a wider range of options and more longevity. But I'm not any good at it, and I don't enjoy it. Is it so bad to want to be a part of this company? Running this company is a huge burden. It's not a life I ever wanted for you. I do this so your life doesn't have to be so difficult. And I'm grateful, but you shouldn't have to carry the burden alone. I'm an adult now. I want to do more. For you and for myself. I suppose it would be foolhardy of me to discourage you from taking on greater responsibility. I was planning to cast you in the next TV spot. You now have creative control over it. Thank you. With two requirements. Um... First, every decision must be approved by me. And second, you must choose a co-producer with experience. I expected as much. Very well. Matthew and Sean, the two of you are now in charge of producing the next TV spot for Midnight Cosmetics. You'll have all the information you need by the end of the day. Thank you. We'll do our best. I didn't think she'd say yes. I just hope I do well. played with one of these before. Thank you. Hi kids, today's party is the best kind, the one where you do nothing. We've got food and movies. Yeah, I know. OK, 
Okay, pick your poison. No horror, please. Oh, but last time was so much fun. Um. Last time we watched one of those, Maddie became convinced that our house is haunted. That's because you made it seem that way. You know it was an accident. Although I almost wish I could take credit for it. Um, I was taking a shower, and when I got out, there were these words written on the mirror. It said, I'm sorry, and it was kind of dripping everywhere, like blood or something. Actually, I left the message the day before. It was supposed to say, I'm sorry for taking so long. It was for Mom after I had to hurry to his shoot. I guess the oils from my skin stuck or something because when the mirror fogged up the next day, part of the message stayed. Hearing his scream all the way across the house was the funniest thing I've ever experienced. Why do you always pick on me? Because you're so pick on a bull. Oh, Maddie's just embarrassed because he wants to look good in front of you, Sean. No, and trust me, I've tried. Although drawing a mustache on him came pretty close. I thought we were going to be watching a movie. Oh, if you insist. Sean, you pick. Works for me. Yeah, I'd like that. Approved. What more were you expecting? I'm a busy woman, Sean. That's why I hire people capable of handling themselves without excessive supervision. Your proposal is approved. Now go do it. Sorry, kid. The client seems to have forgotten to send payment, so no session today. Don't I know it. It's still expensive just calling you and Midnight in. Yeah, he's uh, waiting for his ride. You can wait here too if you like. I'll see you next time. Hello, Sean. Might be a little bit. Mother took the car to an important meeting. I won't be able to call for another hour or so. What? Is that really okay? I would like that. This is where you attend school? Hang on. Do you hear that? Up there! Should I climb after it? Oh, right. That's a better idea. Come on. It's okay. 
Come on, I'll catch you. It's a cut, but it's not very deep. I don't think it'll show up. It's fine. I wanted to help. Hello? Oh, I wish I could take you home with me. But I don't think I could get away with that. Maybe next time. Of course, I'll see you next time. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Mm, if you say so, I'll meet you there. This is really exciting! I didn't know places like this existed! Makeup! Do you want to go see? If you're interested in it, I want to know more about it too. Let's go. Sean, what are you smiling at? Really? As long as you are. Then I shall do my best. Gosh, that elf. I didn't think they made people that gorgeous. Those ears are amazing! Deal! I hope I was useful.
feel weird. You really like it? As long as you like it, that makes me happy. I did! I've never done anything like this before, and I think I was better at talking with people, too. It's all thanks to you. I'm not sure why, but talking with people has been easier ever since I met you. I hope we do this again. Hey, Sean! What's up? Problem. He's right over there. Nicole, I, I told you to stall her. No, not at all. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see this. Um, thanks, but it's not ready yet. Actually, I think I might have to start again. Yeah, for the third time. Nicole! Sorry, you're just so teasable. I love them. Although I'm not that good with them yet. Of course. Mom says the next line needs to contrast with last year's. With the golden cord, we used a lot of warm colors and the idea of autumn. But we're trying to keep the idea of autumn since that'll be the season. Oh, um... Uh, it's okay. I, I don't mind. Using cool colors is a good idea. But rain tends to have a pretty limited palette, and we'll need something more varied. Why not an autumn sunset? We could have lots of pinks and purples and some deep blues in there. Plus, it's super romantic. I look forward to filming this. Thank you. I feel like I did a better job on this one. That's right, you were there too. That was the first time we met. I'm sorry about grabbing you like that. Me too. Could be worse. It's really not so bad. Well, of course, you're here. As long as you're here, I don't feel alone. I'm counting on you to take care of me. 
me? Bold? Am I really? People are still difficult to talk to, and I never know what I'm supposed to say, but at least it's not as scary as it used to be. I have nothing you should envy. The fact that you're still here, even when you're scared, just makes you the bravest. I've admired you from the start. And now, I think it's more than admiration. I I'm just trying to work up the courage to say this. I'm in love with you, and I hope Someday, you can feel the same way about me. I've never kissed anyone before. Was it okay? As many times as you need. Thanks to you. You won't get in trouble. It's been my dream to contribute to an art exhibit. I'll make sure it looks good. I think I'm getting better. Although, I didn't imagine I'd literally be a part of the exhibit. Is it you? I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> 